rejected me. You listened to the devil. You showed him confidence. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. I respected your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor, and you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven, so you could never, never find peace again. Hello, I'm Miss Magic. We are back with another Let's Play. This is Grey Dawn. It is a religious, psychological, thriller, horror type game. Uh, it looks extremely interesting and it's supposed to be terrifying as well. It has some pretty amazing reviews on Steam and it came out June 8th of this year. So yeah, let's dive right in. Oh, <laughs> Christmas music. I wasn't expecting that. That's me. This is too damn loud. <laughs> Okay, so first thing we're going to do is turn that off. No, no. Tragedy strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were poor souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. Is that us? Witness confirms... They've Silence. gone mad. Oh. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. My witness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end, you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. What? There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations. It's bunnies. Hi. Okay, uh... Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. My witness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Okay, I gotta... Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for Turn him. Off. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Ah, it's so shaky! Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations! How do I turn this off? Bunnies, you need to help me. I need your now, assistance. Now, we have breaking news about David's the... David's favorite toy. It even resembles him. He really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan... Okay. What is this? For him. Father, Narnia. You have to speak about what Narnia. You, you used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. I can't read that. They were oh my innocent God. children, do I... Father. A stop. Blood stop on your this. Hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his Heavenly side just Father, for you. Help me in he these dark times. For all you know, I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. 
I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. This is off to the weirdest start. What the heck just happened? Where did all my bunnies go? Uh, okay, I gotta look around first, because I tend to miss... How vile. Oh. He who is greedy is always in want. Okay. Uh, gross. Is that actual blood? What the heck? David, oh. can you... Can you ever forgive me? So... Just... Whoa! What did you do? No! Uh... I don't... I don't like that. Um... Okay. Evil child boy. Oh. Blasphemy. Things are so weird! I don't even know what's going on! This is... Art... Ah, his head's turning. I'm just, um... Me and the children from St. Anne's Orphanage. Are those the children you killed, sir? Hi. I'll come, I'll come back to you later. There is something over here I wanted to read. Is there dirt in this? Is that grass? I can't crouch. Okay. Okay, you go back there. I'm not going to turn back on that godforsaken radio. What is this? I can read this now because, you know, I'm not shaken. Father Abraham Marcus for volunteering time and effort at St. Anna's Orphanage. Okay. So, we are Abraham Marcus, I believe. My indispensable addiction. Co coffee? Hi, guys. How are you? Hello. Are you my friends like the bunnies were? I walk the void. I am internal, eternal. We'll just, uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, we'll go pick up, I, I'll, I'll get to you, okay? Be patient. Be patient, okay? Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? There's a lot of blood on it. I'm I'm not hopeful. This is this is so weird. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Be patient, okay? Uh, yeah, let's, let's sit down and chat. I could swear this thing was following me. It's, you, uh, uh, ha, you swear? Um, do you not see his head turn? Do, do you not? Okay, so we can go out there. I feel like I'm supposed to go into here first, though, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to miss anything. I hate missing thing in, things in games. Could I put on these dapper robes, please? No? Okay. Um. <laughs> what? Er. Okay. Oh no. Do I, do, do I have to hide? Okay. Why? I don't understand. See, his head was turned. Okay. Ah, this, this, this mouse mechanic is really <laughs> screwing with me. Okay. Hello. Oh. After his disappearance, I received a letter that seemingly came from another world. It emanated the scent of paradise. There is blood on it. It, it probably smelled like blood. I... I don't know. This place? Is this another of the devil's tricks? This I think... place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. 
It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time, you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. Okay. With fear of God, faith and love draw near. What? Hi, Owl. Hello. I can't jump. Okay. Can't duck. All right. Hello? Ooh, let's paint pictures. Hey, what's that? Okay, uh... All right, so I gotta do some things here. I'm gonna see if I can go off to the, to the right. Wow, this is so beautiful. Like, holy moly. Look at the flowers! Look at the little light speck spectral things. I don't know. It's just really cute. Whoa. Wow. I just cannot get over how beautiful this is. I can run! Which means I will might have to run from something. Or someone. Okay. So let's actually just go straight ahead. This seems to be a path. Wow. All right. What am I looking for? Hey, what's that? What is this? What's this? I have a gift for you. An image of Christ. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest, and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Okay. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. Okay, I'm gonna go put this on the altar, I guess. I think it, I think that's where it goes. Wow, this is ah, blown away. So I just got to go around collecting Jesuses? Jesus eye? I don't know. Hey, I don't have to put him back. Hello. Cool. So eight, right? Yeah, eight. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. That's my mission. I'm gonna follow through with it. All right, let's go through this ominous door that just randomly opened for us. Hello. This looks weird. Are we entering the matrix? Huda. Okay. It was a place of purity as if imagined by those who write children's stories. Probably. So, I... Kind of Was think that this... place oh. even real? I think I'm going insane. Hey! We've invited our beloved father, Ryan Carpenter, to talk about the recent events. Good evening, Father, and Merry Christmas. Good evening, and thank you for the invitation. May God bless us all. Regarding these events... Uh, what? All right, I think we so... are paying for the sins we've actually never committed. So you are saying we are being punished for someone else's? There we go. All right, so I kind of think this guy did kill that kid and probably those other orphans as well. Just a theory. I'm not too trusting. Orphans? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. I always carry a Bible by my side. Remember the Ninth Commandment? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. But in this case, how can I not speak of him? So, is Father Abraham involved? Obviously, we are dealing with a monster. Fear the beast, for it has been unchained and is walking our very streets. This, this is the sign that the world is coming to an end. 
The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is ahead. Be afraid. Be, be very, very afraid. afraid. The beast could be in your very homes at this instant, and you won't even know it. Very grim warning indeed. Now, Father, I'm a simple man. I'm not a very religious person, and I do not believe everything that is written in the Bible. As you should Are not. Are you implying that Father Abraham is a beast? A priest? Of course. But how could this be possible? Listen. Firstly, you invited me here on your show in the middle of the night, when I could have been at church and praying for some pitiful soul. Secondly, you haven't read the Bible, so you shouldn't speak about things you do not know. Those matters are difficult to comprehend. Such a simple mind as yours could never understand. Those are dangerous things. Okay. Lastly, I have a question for you. Who exactly do you think you are? Uh, uh, I'm Judas Griffin. Exactly. You remind me of how Judas the Iscariot betrayed Jesus for a fistful of coins. That's exactly what you intend to do with me. Everything about your so-called midnight show is about money and ratings. Remember how Judas died? He hung himself from the tree with a rope of a dead mule. I apologize for angering you, Father. We have just a few seconds left. Do you have anything to say to our audience to calm the spirits? Stop searching for your missing children unless you're truly prepared. <laughs> Satan has likely dumped them in a ditch with their throats cut. What? I know it sounds horrible, but this is the truth. Satan is real. Uh. He's not a shadow or an abstraction, and I'm not trying to scare you or to manipulate you as the modern people say we do. Yes, you are. I saw Satan. I spoke to him. I was there when he was ordained into the priesthood. Satan is Father Abraham Marcus. <laughs> By the way, I am playing this game as an atheist, so my skepticism is high. Um, it's raining frogs! Oh, I hope you're okay. He's not. This guy's not. I want the blood in the flesh of Christ. The blood and the flesh of Christ. But that means red wine and sacramental bread. Okay. Gonna go find myself some red wine and sacramental bread. Oh. I don't like that. Oh, Jesus crap! You scared me! You, you scared me! God! Alright, uh, can I, can I... Close these shutters? Gosh. The Roman ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. Did you kill him in an exorcism? Oh, hey, mine. I can take things. Don't, don't slam. Ah, oh, I don't want to miss things. Hey, uh, beautiful plants, how are you? Oh. The smell of wine. Yes. We got our wine! Now we just need our bread. Hello? Oh, wow. There is some shit going on outside. Can I close these? No. What beautiful stained glass. Like, I am just blown away with how beautiful this world is beside that creepy ass doll. I will burn you. Soon. It's a uh, sea monster. Why is there always the possibility of sea monsters? Why? It's moving. It's breathing. I don't like it. We're going the other way. Oh, no. No. It's going to grab at me. I'm going to... I'm, uh, go away. Uh, right. Lots of weird stuff on the walls. What's that? Okay, it's just a window. All right. The fear of all things is no more. Where'd my subtitles go? Um. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. This looks kind of Aztec. I. I don't know which rooms to go into. 
Hey, this dropped. What's that? A phonograph cylinder. Sensual. Oh, I can put that in the phonograph whenever I find it. Okay. That's not a phonograph, is it? Okay. Uh, how are you doing? Okay. Still be in a tree? Got it. Got it. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to be kind of going through this pretty slow just because there is so... There is so much. There is so much detail to this game. Um, Blood of Christ. Okay. It's in here. Anything... All right, uh, so we're just gonna. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. Okay. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. Oh, hey. Why is there so much grass in the drawers? I hate this. No, that one's locked. Hey, a phone! Hello? There's blood on it, that- No, we gotta go pray to Jesus! to take in. I can't even comprehend this. Holy crap. Like, when I played Unforgiven in Northern Hymn, it was simple. Run for your goddamn life. Don't talk to monsters. This, I just, I don't, I'm overwhelmed with how much there is. Like, there is so much detail to this game. Alright, uh, can I play? I wanna play. I wanna play. No? Okay. Hey, is that the bread? Mm, sacramental bread. Yay! Mine. I want to take two. No? Uh, oh, no! Our bunny friends! Ah! Oh, our duck friends! Okay. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? Why do you have mannequins in the basement? That's my question! Oh... Wife? Wifey? Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? Okay. Okay. No grass! They forgot to put grass in this drawer! Why is there manic? Oh. Uh-huh. Ick. That's very difficult to do, like you guys might realize. Uh, um. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
please don't kill me. I I Holy water. Yay! Hey butterfly, come back. You seem oh. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. It is said that she was a faithful creature, visiting the church often at night to confess her sins. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Oh no. Later in the night, they would speak again about sins. This time, it would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Oh, her carnal no. lust knew no shame. She would plead with him to touch her sinful flesh and to feel the sweetness of her lips. Once she told him, I want to feel the taste of the cross on my lips. I want to be part of your madness, to make liturgy of sins, to drink the blood of Christ and to eat his flesh, to bathe in his blood, to be one with him. This is blasphemy. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. Ah. Ah. had a lover so goddamn what jesus you guys are judgmental oh my gosh okay did i kill her is that why she's not here is this where we slept together probably okay oh i i see things have uh gone back to normal no grass in my drawer still All right, um... Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, Frog! How I are you? I never felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. You had no reason to. She always had a peculiar passion about the church, and about me. Especially me. Hmm. Okay. All right. Am I gonna go into the water now? Alright, so I think that's gonna be it for this time. Uh, there is just, like, so much that's happening. Um, yeah, so I definitely will be continuing this. I am super intrigued with this game. Uh, I appreciate you watching. If you did get to the end of the video, and if you do want to see more of this, definitely like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Oh.